Hey guys, Midget here, and welcome to my review of fifth season of The Walking Dead, episode 13, called Forget. <laughs> Get in, boy. Don't mind the hair, I'm just, you know, messing about with it like, you know, swag. That looks actually pretty decent. Yeah, I'm just messing about with it because I'm pretty bored. Uh, but yeah, this episode I thought was like, you know, meh. It starts off with like Sasha getting annoyed by this fat woman that's trying to bloody ask her what food is. I'm sorry, I'm just going to lean like this. It, she likes what food she likes and all this. And it's pretty goddamn boring, to be fair, this whole episode. Um, I mean, I, I had to say, I had some pretty decent episodes. Like when Daryl got that motorbike, that was a pretty sick moment, you know, just to see how Daryl was like... Trying to thank him in his own little way. Uh, I, I was pretty happy about that. Like, Darrow was like, Fat, I'll get you some rabbits. You know, it's, it's pretty goddamn awesome. How you know that Darrow's still got a bit of that human side inside him. And, uh, yeah, Carol threatening Sam. That was also a really good, good moment. And those were my two highlight moments. Uh, but also there was the, like, the likes of, like, um, uh, what's it called? The, when Darrow and Arrow went to save that horse... That, that was a pretty emotional moment because obviously, you know, a horse is like a living thing. It symbolised, like Carl said in season 2, episode 1, I believe, or 2 even. Uh, he said, like, it was beautiful because it was living. You know, Rick said it, like, he's talk, he talked about the... He talked about the deer because it was alive, it was beautiful, something like that. So, you know, it was along those lines. A uh, horse, so it, it died, unfortunately, it just shows how much the world has gone uh, to shit. And I'm sorry to swear, I do not like to swear in my videos, but you you got to do it where you got to do it. And, uh, yeah, that was the best moment. Uh, like, there wasn't much of it because this episode was just fairly filler. It had nothing to do with, like, story progression. It was more against the lines of, you know, just filling it in with, like, some decent content. And, I mean, the content wasn't bad. It got through it. But it's not... It doesn't have much replay value, in a way. Like, you d you won't go back out your way to, you know, watch it. You go out you, you go out your way to, like, watch Too Far Gone or, like, the season one, you know, first episode. Uh, not this one, to be fair. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, it was pretty weak. And... That's basically all I've got to say. I mean, what else was good? One thing that I thought was good, uh, i got to admit, was <laughs> seeing Daryl eat that spaghetti and Aaron's boyfriend laughing his head off because, you know, they're, they're all, you know, eating all civilised and stuff and Daryl's been on the road so much. He just... <laughs> it was pretty goddamn awesome. And uh, Another thing like that was really good in my opinion was uh, the fact that Carol was acting like a possum. She, you know, are you good with these guns, ma'am? Uh, I have a handgun. You know what I mean? I have a handgun, but with those, no, I'm not very good. When we saw her fucking go full boss on Terminus people, I was like, damn, woman! She is such a clever person. And you could see really how clever she was because at the end of the day, didn't she? Uh, she did technically go... Uh, on that meeting with Rick and Daryl, so you see how important she is in terms of characters. As you know, Rick and Daryl are your front two um, faces of The Walking Dead, and you know, most important characters, The Walking Dead's evolving around them. So uh, it's pretty important, it was pretty good, I'm gonna say, that she came out from being, you know, a woman that gets abused to being probably in the top three characters. Uh, you know, Glenn's always there, but Glenn wasn't there. It was Carol, and I mean, she's on par with Glenn in terms of like important, how important someone is, and that really comes to show how good the writing is for this show and how important she is now, and how you know good she's turned uh, since the start of the show. So I mean, great character progression for Carol, but uh, there's nothing much else to put in this review. Uh, so I've got to give this episode. Uh, seven out of ten because, like I said, it had its moments, but not much to do with story progression I should say and the episode on the whole was pretty filler so yeah sorry that this these reviews like lately have been so short but like this is the summer holidays for me and uh, no one really watches Walking Dead reviews anymore they're gonna watch the like, new season because I couldn't be bothered reviewing uh, the you know episodes when the show was on because I was just super tired because I have to record them at like you know 11pm at night and it's just mm, so uh, 
I, I didn't do them then and now no one watches, but like because of my OCD, like, I have to review them before like season six, so I don't have anything to catch up. And also, Fear the Walking Dead is out, so I'll have literally no time to record these. Uh, so I gotta do it now. So if you did enjoy, guys, make sure you go hit that like button below. And so this is it. We'll see you guys later, and peace out. Oh. <laughs>